quiet down here. Here I was, ready for a fight. Nice work. Kept it together. Which is good, because Norma wants to talk to you. Nothing but a friendly word. Come on now. I promise. What about Greg? Well, that's what Norma wants to talk to you about. So, Michonne. That's a great name. Norma. <laughs> I always wanted to be a Veronica or Gwendolyn when I was a girl, but I've made my peace with it, I suppose. You're lucky, though. You got a name people remember. Michonne. <laughs> Damn, that's good. A nice, strong name. Norma's not so bad. Eh, who knows? It's a new world. Maybe the name will make a comeback. I'm sorry about all this, but I just want to talk, that's all. Then you mind taking these off? Sure. Once I get to know you better. I know you're angry, but try to consider things from my perspective. Everything points to you stealing from me, from my people. That puts you and I on opposite sides of the fence. If that's not how you see it, enlighten me. Help me understand. If all goes well, I'd be happy to remove them for you. You got the wrong people. We didn't take shit from you. <laughs> Randall believes otherwise. But that doesn't mean I think you're guilty just yet. You're gonna help me get to the bottom of things. You do that, and you get to go home. Go on. Consider it a peace offering. There you go. So tell me, you and Samantha, how long you all been together? I haven't seen you before, but then you might have been lying low. It's only been a few months now. A few months, huh? And what brought you to that ferry? Seems awfully strange you just stumble on it, out there in the middle of the water. It's just a little difficult to wrap my head around. Our boat ran into some trouble nearby. The ferry was the only thing in sight. Your boat, huh? Hey, Zachary. Yeah? Get Janie to take a crew down by the shoreline. See if they can find this boat she's talking about. Bring anyone they find back here. If they need help, we'll take care of them. So how about your group? Are there others? Or is it just the four of you? I need to know who's with you. Can't act on incomplete information. There are more of us out there. Figured as much. Don't run into that many small groups these days. I know how this whole thing must look to you. I get it. But there's more to this than you realize. Samantha really isn't the kind of person you want to get involved with. That girl is a natural born liar. She's good. I'll bet she laid it on thick for you. Said it was all her fault. She's sorry and won't you please help her escape big bad Norma. Am I getting warm? Wouldn't be the first time she fed that line to somebody. Yeah. She said something like that. See? <laughs> I knew she would. She's lied to us before. Stolen from us before. You can see why I might be just a tad frustrated. I mean, I let her go. No consequences. Yeah. That frustrated me too. I'm glad to hear you say that. Not a lot of good people left, I'm afraid. There's a fine line between being generous and being taken advantage of. Everyone deserves a second chance, I believe that. But never a third. 
Most people will take advantage if you let them. Did you give a second chance to Rashid and Vanessa? Who? Rashid and Vanessa. Never heard of them. But if they showed up here, sure, they'd get their chances. I'm trying to protect these people. That's what we do here. I bring folks in, see that they're fed, clothed, looked after. What about what you take from them? The salvage? We need the same things anybody does. We pool our resources, we survive. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. No more beating around the bush. Where's the rest of it? What? You and those kids were caught with this bag, but there's still much more missing. Where's the rest of it? Bullets and ammunition, handguns and a couple of rifles. That's all there was. Well, it didn't just disappear, did it? Bring in the kid. What, what, what do you do it? Here's how this is gonna work. The boy's gonna answer some questions. Since you two know each other so well, I'm gonna let you do the asking. Let go of me! I guess being a pain in the ass runs in the family. Greg, is it? We're just gonna do a little fact checking, Greg. See if your story squares up. There's no way I'm talking to you after what your brother did. <laughs> Shit, Randall! Fuck you! You want another one? Randall! Come on now. Michonne, mind asking Greg what I asked you? Go on now. How long have we been together? A, uh, long time. We're old family friends. Hmm. That's not how Michonne told it. She said it's only been a few months. Someone's full of shit. It certainly looks that way. He's just scared. Leave him be. The kid's a liar. Oh! Hey! Okay, let's try again. Michonne? The one about your people. She wanted to know, are there others? It's just us. Us four. Well, that's disappointing. She said there were more of you. Randall, oh, go! God. Please, I'll tell you whatever you want. You don't need to use that. She's right. Randall, I think you made your point. Ugh. <sighs> Get a towel, Zachary. Leave him alone, okay? He's just a kid. Throw him a pity party when we're done. Get the fucking towel. He lying again? Try to be kind. Try to extend my goddamn hospitality. Greg's lying. Randall! Norma, please, okay, this isn't working. You're not gonna get what you want this what way. What would you fucking suggest? A pat on the head and a lollipop? He's got a point, Randall. You took it too far. Like you always do. People need a firm hand. You're not gonna get him in line by being soft. Now, being smart isn't the same as being soft, Randall. We're not gonna get what we need your way. Zachary and I will figure this out. You go below and get the other fella. I appreciate you telling the truth, Michonne. You. How you've lived so long in this world, I haven't a clue. Zachary, a word in private. You okay? What do you think? <laughs> Are they done with us? Or is it gonna get worse? My guess is it's gonna get worse. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, maybe they'd stop if you gave them what they want. I, I would if I had it! No matter how many times I say it, no one believes me. I can't believe I pissed myself. Seriously. My little brothers can see me now. I've never done that before. Never. <laughs> I'm not like that. Afraid. I've seen people do a lot worse. Yeah. But not me. I knew about the Rotters. I mean, I fought them before, killed them. It's bad. But people are worse, aren't they? <laughs> I didn't know it was this bad. They know what they're doing. Not everyone is like these people. I've met others. Folks who don't kill unless they have to. I wish they were here. I don't know. The thing is, is I, I say that about people, but people, family, you know, they're the only reason to live. What if you don't even have that? I left them behind. My daughters. I didn't know. You lie to yourself to live. So you keep going. But when you stop... Michonne! You look rough, kid. I'm not a kid. Yeah, you are. What'd they do to him? Ask him some questions. Hey, Sam? I haven't seen her. <sighs> Shit. How are we playing this? Yeah, Michonne. How are we playing this? I'm all ears. Any day now. Just tell the truth, Pete. Yeah, Pete. Just unburden your heart. Take care of this. Come on. Zachary? I just have a few questions. I know just where to put you. Oh, what the hell? Jonas! Haven't you got a patient that needs you? No, you can't just barge Jonas. in here! Not everyone here lives in squalor. Jonas and Zachary had the nicest room on the ship. The good doctor deserves it. Gosh, he just works so hard. What is it you do, Zachary? Huh? Besides fuck Jonas. Okay, fine. Brandon, That's let's right. just... You do nothing. You cower and you whine because you don't have the balls to do things that need doing around here. Can we just get this over with? What? You feeling sorry for this waste of space? Look, whatever you're gonna do, Randall... No, I'm not gonna do shit. Your fucking uselessness stops now. Time to earn your keep. Here. Go on. Get them talking. Where, where are the rest of the supplies? The bags with the ammo. Hey, you shouldn't keep your finger on the trigger. Don't tell me how to hold a fucking gun. I don't know, Zachary. Maybe she does know better than you. Please, no one has to get hurt here. Shut up! I'm just trying to help you. Okay, then talk. I don't think she's taking you very seriously. Come on! That's it! Careful. Don't get too close to her now. Please, we all need to calm down. If I knew where your ammo was, I would tell you. Um, I... Hey! Who's in charge here? You or her? Huh? You want answers? Talk to me! Stop! Stop! Don't move! Sam! Greg, don't! It's okay! You think this is okay? Get it! You get there, Zachary! Stop! Tell Randall to leave. Then we can talk all you want, okay? Last chance, Zachary! Fucking do something! Stop! Oh, damn it, Zachary! Now who's taking things too far? What? I did. Outside. I, 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 now. Don't. 
no, 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 Greg. Sam. I can't. Oh, we have to get out of these. We have to help him. Sam. Oh, God. I can't reach him. We need to lay him down. I'll find something to stop the bleeding. It's going to be okay, Greg. I don't think it is. Don't say that. Someone's shirt. I could slow down the bleeding. Oh, please. Come on, Greg. Come on, don't do this. Please, don't do this. Think of, think of Alex. You're his hero. What will he do without you? Not if, not a very good hero. No, you are. You are, Greg. Please hang on. He's gone. <laughs> He's going to turn, Sam. He's gonna... He's gonna become one of them. Everyone turns. Always. You need to be ready. I'm gonna need your help. I can't. I can't. I just need another second, please. I can't. I can't let you go yet. We need to take care of this. End it. I can't. I just need more time. <laughs> no, Greg, please. Greg. You fucking shot him! I didn't mean to! Do you think that matters? You killed him! It was an accident. I swear, okay? I, I swear! Please! Lower! Please lower the gun. We should hear him out. Why? He's a murderer! Please! You're not leaving this room, you son of a bitch! I, I mean it, Michonne! demons, honey. And I seen some fucked up shit in my time. But you, you're a whole different animal. 
caged up, just itching to get out. I seen it in your eyes. You're a killer. <laughs> That's what you do. You don't know what I can do.